Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Recovery. Thanks for joining us today. So Recovery is just a class about stretching. You don't have to think about too much. I'll walk you through everything. And we can start off nice and easy and then get a little bit harder as we go. Morning, Kathy. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Here we go. It's a little bit cold this morning, so keep your jumpers and dressing gowns on. Hi, Sarah. Keep everything on, nice and warm. So I'm going to start standing up and then I'll go to the floor. <laughs> Happy Monday. I'll go to the floor. I've got a band. So if you've got a, hey Cheryl, I've got a band. Hey Gwyneth, hey Norm. Or a towel. Michelle, thanks for joining us. I've got a towel, so whatever you need. I've also got a seat that's just right here for those people who, hey Joe, <laughs> for all those people that don't want to get up off the couch yet. Too cold. <laughs> So while I keep talking, all you're going to do is lift your leg up. Can you see my foot? Lift your leg up, point and flex your toe. Point and flex, how easy is that to start the morning? So you're doing that while I'm talking. <laughs> I get the easy part every time. Point and flex, point and flex. So remember, it's about stretching the right muscle. So if you could do this any time of the day, there's millions of exercises out there you could do any time of the day. Just think about what muscle you'd like to stretch and then go from there. Remember, you've been laying in bed for eight hours, so everything's been laying dormant, getting a little bit tight. So we want to stretch it up and open it up all over again. So you can feel really free as you're walking around. Feel really great to go for that run, that jog, that swim, whatever you need to do. <laughs> okay, make sure you check. Are you still pointing and flexing? Now change to the other leg. Point, flex, point, flex. Little Dorsey flex, that's it. Beautiful. My name Victoria. <laughs> so point, flex, point, flex. We're just pointing and flexing your toe. Here's the seat I've got. Julie, if you haven't gotten up yet, you're gonna point and flex your toe. Point and flex, I'm holding my leg, a bit lazy, right? <laughs> point and flex. Change over other leg. We're gonna take it around in a circle. Nice, smooth circle. Good work, Karen, keep going. Morning. <laughs> now try the other leg, round in a circle. So you're just getting those joints nice and warm up. That's it, beautiful. <laughs> okay, from here, make sure you check with your doctor or your physio if these exercises are right for you. I'm gonna crank up the music, no yoga. It doesn't have to be any uh, mind. We're just gonna breathe. <laughs> now, take one foot off the floor and come up on your toe and then down. So up on your tippy toes and then down. Tamara, are you with me? <laughs> Here we go. Up and down. You've got to walk close. Hold on to it. You can sing along. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> now, all I'm going to do is change over. Still warming up into my calves again so I can stretch them out. Keep going up and down. You changed over to the other foot. Good work, Siri. Here we go. Up and down. Perfect. Now I'm going to stretch that little calf. I'm going to take it on a wall. And then lean forward or lean back. Whatever you're going to feel that stretch through your calf. Hey, girl. How are you going? <laughs> Good work. And then change over to the other leg. Little calf stretch. I'm going to be using the wall quite a lot at the moment. Good. And then changing over. That was easy enough. So now let's go for that lat. So I'm reaching all the way up, all the way up your wall. Let your chest drop down. Let your hip drop down. Oh. So now you should feel that big stretch. Anything exciting happening on the weekend? <laughs> Not for me. Here we go, Noel, there we go. Take that leg behind, now lean. Ooh, come here often? Yes, actually every Monday. <laughs> here we go, push that hip, this hip, push it forward a little bit. You're still leaning against, turning this hip, doing your most glamorous pose. Keep breathing. Drop that hip down a little bit more. If you're tight through your lower back, I've found this is really hard. So, but if you're not, you're really pushing this lat here. Good. Keep going. Keep breathing. Hey, Sasha. <laughs> Carry on. Mom's watching you. Are you doing it though? So that 
leg's gone behind. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more, you can push it a little bit more. That's it, drop that here. Looks good, if you want to do something extra, this hand, I'm going to reach it behind. So let me show you, I've just reached it behind. So everything's dropping, up, up, and this hand's reaching behind, opening up through this shoulder as well. Breathe, one more breath, Cheryl. Good work. Ah. And then unwind, and let's try the other side. So same thing on the other side. Hey, Sarah, grab that wall, so I'll show you my back side. Hand up, reach nice and tall, drop that lat to the wall. So remember, I'm stretching out this lat, drop it down to the wall. This leg, Take it out, Jen, swing it behind. Then this hip, drop it down as well. Then this hip, turn it forward. And then do your best sexy pose. <laughs> That's it, Vicky. Looks good. So you're against that wall. That leg's behind. That hip's dropping in. You're reaching nice and tall. This hand now can come behind. So remember... Keep reaching it up your spine. Keep dropping that hip down, reaching tall, push that hip forward. Two more breaths and you'll be there. <laughs> two more breaths, big breath in and then sigh out. One more knot, one more knot, keep twisting that hip. Here we go. Lynn, are you with me? Mum, come on. <laughs> come all the way up. Beautiful. Oh, give it a shake. Here we go. Grab that wall. If you've got a door that's open, you're really going to lean into that door. So hold that door. I don't want to show you the mess inside this room. Here we go. Drop your chest down. So all you're doing is opening up and I'm dropping that chest down into that wall or that door frame. Squeeze your butt and let it drop down. Breathe. Now, don't let those traps hold you there. You want to drop your shoulders back and down the whole time. Yes? Squeeze your butt. Good work. Now, all these exercises we can do on the floor as well. So, we'll start off up here. So, when you're walking around the house and you see a door, you'll just go, oh, yeah, I can do that. Easy. Now, come all the way back up. Beautiful. Let's do it one more time. Hand on the door, or if you have no door, you just hold your hands out here a bit and squeeze your middle back. Drop down, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your inner thighs, chest towards the middle of the door. Breathe. You got for one more breath. And then come all the way up. Give those shoulders a little roll. Excellent job. How does that feel? Yes, good work. I'm going to hold my chair now. So I've got my chair, and then I'm going to take my hand down towards the floor. So I'm really pushing it down towards the floor. My head's going towards my shoulder. I'm just holding my chair for balance. Then I'm going to reach my hand. Can you see my hand? Up, and turn my palm up. You get a little nerve stretch as well. So then drop it back down. Good. And again, how graceful are you? Beautiful. Turn that palm up and then drop it back down. <laughs> what time is this? It's 9.30 here. <laughs> here we go. Breathe out. Reach up. I want to get that big stretch through my neck. So are you feeling it? I've been looking for a pillow for years. Could never find the right pillow. Wake up with a sore neck every day. <laughs> Here we go. Reach top. And then down. One more time. Breathe out. Reach up. Good work. Now slowly look towards your chest and your little toe. So look towards your chest and your little toe. So you're on the side. It's like you're dribbling. For those big nights, Cheryl. <laughs> So I'm looking down, I'm going to add my hand again. So now the stretch should go into the back of your neck rather than the side. So it just changes the angle a little bit. One more. Good work. And then change over. Bring that head to the centre and up slowly. Oh, beautiful little shoulder roll. 
Great job. Let's try the other side. Hand on the chair or the wall, whatever you've got. Take that hand down and then slide it up. Now my chair's in the way. <laughs> Drop it down and then slide it up. Good work. Floating it down and up. So all I'm doing is floating my hand up, palm up, and then dropping it down. Reach again. Good. So every time I'm letting this ear drop to my shoulder just a little bit more. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So we do these classes at Body Fit. So we started them because all the footballers used to come in and do these classes with me. And then we thought everyone else loved them. So we started them. <laughs> One more. Really relax that ear down. Good. Here we go. Let's drop that chin down towards your chest and down towards your little toe. So look towards your little toe and then add the arm again. So remember what I'm trying to stretch it in. At the back. So at the back of my neck. More. To the, this was to the side. Now you just tilt your head at the back. Beautiful. If you've got any neck injuries, you're just taking it nice and easy. Good. First time watching, I like the exercise, that's amazing. Good, I'm glad you like it, good work. <laughs> You'll have to join us every morning at 9.30, we've got something different every day. Good, one more time. And remember, you can do this sitting down. So if you haven't got excited enough to get up yet, just do it sitting down, we can do the same thing. Sit, sit down, and then you've got it. One more. Beautiful. Now bring your head back to the centre and then take it up. We'll just do one more for our neck and then I know we've done our neck. We don't worry about that anymore. Hands on the back of your head. I'm going to pretend I'm lifting my head out of my shoulders. Here we go. Lift your head out of your shoulders. Breathe out, bring your head forward. So you're lifting forward and then down. Stay there, don't move. Have another big breath in. And then sigh out, lift your head forward and down. Stay there with the breath, don't move. We've got one more. Big breath in, and then sigh out. Lift your head forward, and then down. Good, now that's as far as we're going. We're gonna breathe out and pretend you're lifting your head towards the ceiling. Don't have to pretend, because you are. Here we go. Lift your head towards the ceiling. Lift up nice and tall. Good, take your hands down. Oh, give your shoulders a roll. Hands a shake, one more time. Here we go. Base of your skull, get your little fingers underneath there. Lift your head up, like you're pulling it out of your shoulders. Lift it up, breathe out, drag it forward before you go down. So lift up, breathe out, forward before you go down. That's it. And again, lift up, drag your head forward before you go down. One more time, lift your head up, breathe out, drag your head forward before you go down. Remember, we're going to lift your head up all the way. Ready? Big breath in. Sigh out. Lift your head up all the way. There you go. Little shoulder roll. That neck should feel fantastic now. So remember, if you've got a sore neck, you can do all those exercises. They're just gentle and they should help to lengthen that neck. Just slightly, like a little bit of traction. Here we go. Grab your leg. Moving on. Big breath in. Sighing out. Push your hips forward. So I'm working on my quads now. Hold your leg. Push your hips forward, squeeze your butt. Push your foot against your hand and drag your hand in. And some exercises are easy for one person but hard for another. So we get that, right? You've got injuries all the time that pop up. So if it's too much, use your towel or your band. You just wanna push those hips forward, drag your leg in. I wanna get the stretch in my quad. So that big muscle down the front. And remember, been drinking too much last night? Hold the wall. No, just kidding. You can hold the wall anytime you want. Push your hips forward. Push your foot against your hand. See my knees? I want to try and keep them nice and close together. Nice and close together. That's it. Keep tilting your pelvis forward, pushing against your hand. Now I could do that. We can do this one lying down on your belly. So if that's better for you, do that. We'll still do it when we go down. Here we go, change over. Other leg. Hi Natasha. Push your hips forward. 
Good. Who else? Hey, Romina. <laughs> Keep going. We're stretching our quad. So push your hips forward. Tony, are you with me? Joe, all doing it? Pretend I'm pulling from your crown of your head, lifting you a little bit taller each time. So I still want to lengthen through those vertebrae, so don't lean into it. Stand nice and tall. Push your foot against your hand. Drag your hand in. Tilt your pelvis forward. And just breathe. Jen, you're looking good. Here we go, push it forward. Remember your knees, sometimes they want to flare out. Bring them close together. One more breath. Relax that shoulder down. Nice and even if you can get it that way. One more breath, big breath in. Push your hips forward, push your foot against your hand, and then drag it in. Beautiful. Let's move along, grab that wall again. This time I'm going to lift up, breathe out, go over. Can you see me? I'll move further away. Go all the way over. Now, if that's too far for you, hey Jeff, <laughs> that's too far for you, I've got my towel. And I'm going to use my towel. You have straight arms, bent arms, whatever suits you. And if it's too much for your spine so early in the morning, <laughs> you're going to put your hands and push your hip out. Okay, good night here. Oh, 4 a.m., you're up nice and early. <laughs> Push it out or hold that wall. Now, what happens is your shoulder wants to roll in if you're tight and your hip wants to turn, but we want to roll it back, squeeze and push. Good. And relax your head. should feel nice and loose now after all that stretching. One more breath. And then I am going to roll it in. So roll it in just a little bit. So now I want to get a big stretch down my side. Did you roll it in? Good, come all the way back and then unwind. <sighs> Let's try the other side. Lift up and over, grab your towel if you need to. Use the wall if you can. Use your hand if you need support in your lower back. While you're doing this, you're all the way over. Your little transverse muscle is going to switch on. Big breath in, sigh out. That transverse switches on. Your bottom is squeezing because I'm lengthening my spine. I'm working on my spine. I'm not just letting everything else. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> there we go for our overseas visitors. <laughs> uh, keep pushing out at your hip. Big breath in, sigh out. Good work. Remember those shoulders nice and even, hips nice and even. See if you can bring those hips around so they stay together. Keep squeezing through your inner thighs. One more breath. Big breath in, sign out. Beautiful work. Come all the way. Now you're going to roll forward. So I was here and all I do is roll forward. So I want to get that stretch all the way down the side. Trying to get a little bit into QL as well. So rolling down, roll forward. If you've got the wall, hold it here. Keep pushing out that hip. Keep switching on at that transverse. One more breath. And if you feel it in your lower back, bend your knees all the way, so to support your lower back a little bit. One more, and then roll over normal, back to straight, and then come all the way up. Huh. Perfect, take those hands down. Here we go, we're gonna stick your butt out in this one. Start to stretch into those hamstrings. So if you're used to doing this, a pump class, we're gonna stick your butt out, hinge from your hips, and float down, and then come all the way back up. And again, float down. I wanna feel the lengthening in my hamstrings, but not that hard at the moment. So stick your butt out. Ah, oh, butt goes out, transverse locks on, nice long spine, hinge from your hips. So you wanna hinge from your hips. No rolling through your spine on this one. Good work, keep going. Hinge from your hips, and then come all the way back up. Beautiful, let's do it again. Hinge from your hips. Looks good. Excellent work. So this is tricky for some people because they've never done this move before. So bend your knees. Drop down, nice straight spine, stick your butt out. Like I could do a row of champagne on your spine. And then come all the way up. Julie's used to this one, aren't you, Julie? <laughs> stick your butt out. Good work. Feel that stretch through your hamstrings as well. Try 
transverse brings you up. One more time, one more time. Good work. And then come all the way up. Now I've got my trusty chair on the side just here. I'm going to do a little hamstring stretch. So you can stay on the floor, kick one leg out, toe up, stick your butt out again. Remember I'm hinging from my hips. Hinge from your hips, nice long spine. Are you doing that? Good work, Karen. <laughs> Hinge from your hips. Let your chest drop down. You want that stretch in your hamstring. If that's enough for you, stay there. If you want a little bit more, I'm going to throw my leg up onto that chair and I'm going to drop down. Ooh, still hinging from my hips. Stick your butt out. Now, if you can grab your toe, pull it back towards you. Then you'll get a little bit of a calf stretch as well. Keep breathing. Good work. Nice long spine. Bend that knee, come in and then take that leg off the floor. Here we go on the other side. So decide. On the floor, hinge from your hips, stick your butt out. Biggest butt in the room wins. We love that. Here we go. If you want a little bit more, stick it up on a chair or whatever's close, a child crawling past. Doesn't matter, whatever you've got. Lean forward. Notice where you feel the stretch. It should be the back of your leg into that hamstring. If you're not feeling it there, Move your body around. And if it's hard work, maybe go back to the floor level. Let's have two more breaths and we'll drop down a little bit more. Reach to your toe if you want to, to make it a little bit harder, but I still want that long spine. Stick that butt out, one more breath. Looks good. Good work. And then coming all the way up. Perfect. So standing here, I've got my trusty chair on the wall. I'm gonna take one leg on top. Stand up really tall to start with, hips are even, and then sit down. Hi Kylie, how are you? I'm going to sit down like I'm sitting in a little chair. I want to stick my butt out again and put my hand on my knee, sit down nice and low. I don't want to let my butt swing out because it'll try and help me out. I want to try and keep it nice and even. If you want a little bit more, grab your toe and pull it up. So I'm pushing down here gently and gently pulling up at my little toe. Stay there. If you're still in the chair and I haven't made you motivated enough to get up yet, stay in your chair. You can do it here. And lean forward. Is Graham doing it? Are you motivated, Graham? Put your leg out to the side. Lift up. Lean forward. Same little glute stretch. Everybody else changing over. Here we go. Cover the other leg. Use the wall or whatever you've got. Hips are even. Sit your butt out. That's it. Looks good. Breathe. I do want that stretch in my glute, so your bottom. Hand down, little toe, sit down. Woo. <laughs> if you're wobbly, find a spot that's not going to move and stare at that. The weight's even throughout your feet, your shoulders are back and down still. Sit down a little bit more. One more time. And remember, if you've got that seat, so you can be watching TV anytime or doing whatever you're doing, sitting down, lean your chest forward. You'll get that big stretch through your glute. Legs are like a little cross-legged. And lean forward. Shoulders back and down. Two more breaths. I'll get rid of my chair. Good work. Big muscle your glute. If it gets tight, it'll pull on your lower back. Last one, last one standing I think. So, foot off the floor, hold on to something. I'm going to drop my hip down and then pick my hip up. I want to squeeze here. Drop your hip down, pick your hip up. So I want to lengthen and strengthen through here, QL, attached to your last rib. So drop it down again and then pick it up. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. This is another one you could do while you're washing up drying up, <laughs> talking to people. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just lengthening QL. Let's do two more. Really squeeze, rib cage to hip. Squeeze and then drop it down. Squeeze and then drop it down. That's it, last one. Oh, try the other leg. If you want to get really fancy, just take your hands off the wall and see if you could do it here. Oh, beautiful. Pull up at that hip, drop it down. Pull up. You might notice one side's tighter than the other or you feel in one side more than the other. We're trying to even them up. So 
so everything's always nice and balanced. Keep breathing. Really ditch that hip up. Hitch it up and then down. This leg doesn't move. So Colleen, that leg stays really still. Perfect. Good work. Two more. Last one. You've got to squeeze your butt as well. Good work. Oh, there we go. We're moving down to the floor. I've got a chair. I'm just going to use it to start with. So take it down to the floor. Middle back thoracic spine. I'm going to take my elbows, pop it on the chair, drop my chest down, push down on those elbows. So you really have to push down on those elbows. If you haven't got a chair nearby, you're just going to lay your belly on the floor and roll up. <laughs> What's coming? <laughs> drop your chest down. Push down on your elbows. Again, middle part of your back. That's what you're looking for. Let's go. What's connex, Victoria? <laughs> One more. Drop down. Good work. And then come all the way up. So hopefully you felt that. If you love those sort of exercises, you can stay doing them longer. Now I'm going to grab my band or your towel. You can sit down on your... I'll just pop myself down. Sit down on the chair. Oops, I'm losing it. Sit down on your chair. We're going to take this band. <laughs> We're going to take this band. Take it down your spine. Pull it down. So I'm down on the floor. All I'm doing is pulling this band down. Where's my technical crew? <laughs> You're getting a stretch through your tricep. If that's too easy for you, you could pull down a little bit more. If you didn't have a band, push down. Keep pulling. We're just going to change over now. So here we go. Spin it around. Other hand goes down your back. Grab the other hand and pull it down. Breathe. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Two more breaths. Lean over a little bit if you're not feeling it. Good work. And remember, if you don't have a band, push down. And if you're still sitting on the lounge, you can still do this one with me. One more breath. We're going to do a little one for your shins. And then release your hands. So I'm sitting on my knees. I'm going to grab my knee and pull it up just a little bit. Oh, you'll feel it through your ankle, through your shins. It's a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you don't ever do this exercise. Breathe. Oh, and then change over. Let's try the other side. Lift it up. You keep breathing. You keep going. Two more. And then drop it down. We'll do it one more time on each side. Here we go. Grab your knee. Lift it all the way up. Karina, have you got it? Sit. And then take it down. Let's try the other side. Lift it up. Good work. And then take it all the way down. Perfect. From here we're going on to your spine. So I'm hoping my camera doesn't move again while I... Organize myself. You're laying on your back now. You're going to pull one leg up towards you. So pull one leg up towards you. Let the other leg go long. Squeeze it in as much as you can. Drop your shoulders back and down. Heavy on the floor. Just let me turn up my volume because I actually always keep it down. So let's see if that makes it better. There we go. So squeezing that leg in. Breathe out, tailbone heavy on the floor. So this is really good for sciatica, for Michelle. So squeeze it in, let the other leg go long. Now stay there with this little leg, take it to the side. Squeeze it in again. And then bring it back to the center, squeeze it in. One more time, take it to the side. So you can feel your leg just moving around your hip uh, 
socket. And then bring it all the way back. Beautiful work. Change over, other leg. Pull it in. You want to feel that, that little tiny pinching sensation, but not enough to feel like there's any pain. Pretend I've got your other leg and I'm pulling it away from you. Squeeze it in a little bit more. And then take it to the side. Just a little bit. Leave your hips heavy on the floor. And then bring it back to the center. Good work. And then take it over again to the side. Perfect. And then back to the center. Beautiful. Squeeze it in again just a little bit more. Excellent work. Take that leg down now. Bring both legs up. Give it a big bear hug. Squeeze it in. You're trying to get all of your spine on the floor. So tailbone heavy, Pippa. Tailbone heavy on the floor, Poppy. Push it down just a little bit more. One more breath, Emily. Squeeze it in. That's it. Perfect. Big breath in. Sigh out. Lay heavy on the floor, Ashley. Beautiful. I'm going to take my hands out to the side like a big W position. Bring your knees all the way up. Drop them over, just a spine stretch. If that's enough for you, drop your shoulder down. Try and get it towards the floor. Take the other leg up to make it a little bit harder. Gently, hand on your knee. Breathe. Good. Stay there, one more breath. And then gently bring it back to neutral and then all the way up again. Over to the other side. Spine stretch, shoulder on the floor if you can. Take this leg up, drop it down. Hand on your knee to make it a little bit more. Try and keep that shoulder and rib cage pushing back. You're stretching all of your spine now like a big vine. Good work. And you know what's coming up? Pretzel. Woohoo, I hear you say. Been waiting for it. <laughs> Bring your legs back together. Nice and easy. Now, go right over onto your side like you're watching TV. Take your top leg. Bring it all the way up into 90 degrees. Take your top hand. Grab your bottom leg. Push your hips forward. Roll your head back down on the floor. And then look to the other direction. That looks good. Whew, breathe. Now it's not meant to be easy. <laughs> and if it's easy for you, fantastic. Send in a photo. Yay, the pretzel, it's on. <laughs> You're twisting. See if your eyes can look the other direction. And sometimes when things get a little bit difficult, you stop breathing to concentrate on how difficult it is. But breath in. Good. Big breath into your belly and then sigh out. And again, big breath into your belly and sigh out. See if you can look your further over to the other side. One more breath. Good work. And then come back to the centre. Bring your legs back. Take them over to the other side. Because we've done one side, we have to do the other. Roll over. I'll spin over. So, lay on the side. No, you do have to do both sides more. Here we go. <laughs> Take one leg over, 90 degrees. Top hand comes up, grab the bottom leg. Push your hips forward. And look the other direction. Take the top hand, grab it, pull it in. Did I do that on the other side? Maybe I forgot. Now you want to keep pushing that bottom leg underneath you a little bit more. Push and pull. That's it. Good work, Joe. You'd be good at this now, Joe. Now I'm really trying to open up through that shoulder as well. So really relax that shoulder back and down. And if you can shuffle that bottom hip back a little bit more, that would be great too. Push your hips forward. Good work. One more breath, remember to breathe. Ah. And then come all the way back, legs together. Breathe out, come back to the centre. We're going to go into a little bridge now. So you're going to tuck your pelvis, squeeze your butt. Roll up, push your hips forward. Weight, or forward towards the ceiling. Weight in your feet is even, and then roll down. Lengthen through your spine. Tilt, squeeze, all the way up. 
and then roll all the way down. Good work, Chris. Are you doing it? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> this will be good for your spine, let me tell you. And again, coming all the way up. Chris and I have had the same operations. <laughs> Here we go, all the way down. One more time, big breath in, sighing out, lift up, squeeze your butt, really squeeze your butt. Switch on at your transverse, lengthen your spine, tuck your chin. I've got my hands over my head now. Push weight into your feet, lift up a little bit further, and then bring that up, float down slowly, slowly, slowly. Beautiful. And because it's been so much fun today, we're going to go into half a baby and then happy baby. Woohoo! Grab the inside of your foot, push your leg up, pull it down. I know you love that one, right? <laughs> You're opening up through your hips. You're really pushing and dragging in. This leg can be bent. Shoulders heavy on the floor. Push it up a little bit more. Drag it in a little bit more. Push it up a little bit more. Drag it in. Good work. That's it. Change over. Huh. Let's try the other side. Take that leg up, push it to the ceiling, drag this knee in, push it up a little bit more. Drag it in, good work. And this leg is bent whichever way you like. So that's half each leg. You know that the whole one is both legs in the air. Keep dragging it down, pushing it up, dragging it down, pushing it up. Good work, now grab that little leg, take it down. Here we go, take both legs up, grab those feet, push it up. Drag it in. And again, it's glamorous, isn't it? <laughs> I want to try and get my whole spine on the floor. Both legs pushing up while your hands are dragging in. Shoulders back heavy on the floor. Tuck your chin. You're really trying to open up through your hips and get your tailbone on the floor. Hard work if you've got a spine that's tight. So, push one more time. Woo, drag it in. And if you're rolling all around the floor, well, that doesn't matter either. <laughs> One more breath. Good work. And then bring those little legs back together. Take them all the way down. This time, grab underneath your hamstrings. Roll up. Beautiful spin over. Oh, can you believe it? We're going to step one leg forward. Tilt your pelvis underneath you. Now, we've nearly stretched everything. I want to get that hip flexor stretch. So if you're tight through your hip flexor or you walk around like that with your butt out, you want to touch the underneath you. Tilt your pelvis, shoulder and hip, and knee in line to start with. Tuck your chin. Because remember, as you get older, your chin goes forward. You want to tuck it. Breathe. Keep tilting that pelvis underneath you. Ooh, ooh. Now, see if you can drop a little bit further into it. How's that feeling? Hip flexor stretch, all getting a go. Yeah, good work. Now the hand to the back leg. I'm going to lift it up and then go over. Claire, keep tilting your pelvis. Siri, keep going. Reach long. Stay there. Pretend I've got your arm and I'm pulling it over. Or if you've got a band, Victoria, which I know you do, <laughs> you can reach it up and then pull it down. So this hand is getting pulled down. Keep breathing. I really want to get into that hip flexor. And if it's too much on your knee, stop, have a little break, or you can do it standing up on your feet. One more breath. Good work, come all the way up. Let me show you this direction. So other leg, step it forward, tilt your pelvis underneath you. So there is a big pelvic tilt. Lean, so your shoulder and your hip and your knee are in line with each other. Sometimes you need a mirror to tell whether it is because your body likes to lean forward a little bit. But we want it nice and aligned. Then tilt your pelvis underneath you. Push your hip forward. And you can step that leg forward a little bit more if you can. Looks good. And then the other hand, reach it up and over. Keep tilting this pelvis. And notice if one side's tighter than the other. Then if you've got that band, hold on to it. Pull yourself over a little bit more. Keep breathing. One more breath. Perfect. Good work. Come all the way up. I'm going to 
change over legs again. I'm going to swing my leg through and then drop it down. Like pigeon. So I swing it underneath. Didn't do it very gracefully, but drop it down. So all I've done, let me show you standing up. So all I've done is bring my leg underneath me and drop down. I want this bottom to go towards the floor. I want to feel that stretch on the inside of my thigh if I am tight. Sit down and drop down a little bit further. Every time you drop down, see if you can lengthen your spine. So pretend I've got a hook in your chest. And I'm dragging your chest forward each time. Hook in your chest and I'm dragging it forward. Good. So each little vertebrae is lengthening on the way down. If you're flexible, you're already down there. Good. Now push into your palms, relax your head. And then breathe. Two big breaths into your belly. Good, and then coming all the way up, we're going to stay there. I'm going to sit my bottom down, take my foot up into 90 degrees now. What? I'm going to spin this way to show you. So it's up to 90 degrees, or anywhere you can trace, isn't it? It's wherever you can get it. So we're just starting here, and then just move it up a little bit, and then a little bit more, and a little bit more. You want to feel that stretch into your glute, into that IT band norm. And then if you're at 90 degrees, you can bring your chest forward a little bit more. And that back leg is trying to be hips even. To make it a little bit harder, if you're not quite there and hips aren't even, is come up a little bit. So push your bottom up and even up those hips at the back. Breathe deep. That's it. Can you feel that? Or is it just me? <laughs> and of course, if you're flexible, you take your chest all the way down. But remember, lengthening through each little vertebrae each time. One more breath. I'm trying to think how we can get out of this nice and gracefully. <laughs> Last breath. Tuck that knee back to pigeon now. Oh, go move your back toe, tuck it underneath you, come up into plank. Oh, look at that. Bring the other leg underneath you into pigeon. Drop it down. So let me show you this way. Drop that leg down into pigeon. Remember, I'm lengthening through each spine, each spine, each vertebrae. So hook in your chest, I'm dragging you forward. Come down, Daryl, are you with me? Pull it forward a little bit more, come down. Remember, if you're flexible, you're already down there, but really lengthen through your spine, push down into your palms. And I'll spin around. Good, I'm also getting that hip flexor stretch here as well. So we're looking for that as well. Of course, if you're down there, you've got one more breath. And then coming all the way back up. This little leg, we're staying here. So remember, now we're moving it to 90. So a little bit at a time. Keep breathing, keep pushing that hip down. Breathe. If it feels like it's killing me, it's killing me too. It's hard work. So don't think it's meant to be easy. That glute's hard to stretch. Always gets tight. You work it every day, all the time. So bring this little leg up a little bit more. If you're flexible and you're okay, you're already down there. Good. And then if you want to make it a little bit harder, we want these hips to be even. We're trying to get that hip down towards the floor as well. Bring your hands both over. And then lift up just a little bit. Good work, Kat. How's that feeling for you? <laughs> After all your walking, it should be great. You should be like, you bendy soon. Breathe. Of course, if you're flexible, your chest is already down there, but I'm lengthening through my spine. So pretend I've nailed your tailbone down and you're lengthening further each time. Push down with your palms. And for everybody else, oh, one more breath. Each time, after a little bit, it's a long breath, you, you start to feel, oh, actually, now I can move. Just a mil. A mil's great. A mil each time's great. So just a little bit each time. Good. Perfect. And then tuck this leg back underneath. Oh, I'm going to stay there now and spin around. So all I did was stay there and spin around. 
I'm opening up through this leg, through this inner thigh. So pretend you're on fame. Take that leg out to the side. I want to feel that stretch through my inner thigh. Good work. And then drop your elbow down, turn through your chest. Look to the ceiling if you want to stretch through your neck as well. Looking for the stretch on my inner thigh. So remember, where are we looking for it? This is another one you can do while you're watching TV. See if you can keep your bottom down on the floor, hips even. If you want to make it a little bit harder, this hand can reach up and over. So now we're getting inner thigh and a big stretch down your side as well. Open up through your chest. Good. Keep breathing. And then come all the way up. Beautiful work. Bring this knee in. All we're going to do is spin over to the other side. Take that leg out. Remember, like you're in fame. Oh, if you're young, you won't know what I'm talking about, Lou. <laughs> like you're going to do the split. Fame. I want to use forever. Okay, so elbow drops down. Chest to the ceiling. Rita, this would be good for you, isn't it? Keep breathing. Remember what I'm stretching? My inner thigh. And now I'm going to reach up and then go over. Big stretch all the way down my side as well. Is that okay, Gwyneth? Roll that shoulder. Open it up. Good work, Nat. One more breath. You might notice one side's tighter than the other. It's okay. We'll work through it until they're both even. Good work. One more breath. Reach a little bit more like I'm pulling your fingers. Good work. Come all the way up. Beautiful work. We've got one more. Just a little cat stretch so you feel fantastic to finish the day. So, oh, the session. Drop your shoulders back and down. Tilt your pelvis underneath you. It's like you're trying to put your bottom on the back of the wall. Roll up, chin to your chest. And then unwind. Drop down, belly to the ceiling. Good. Roll up. You keep going. Now remember, I want that thoracic. Remember we did that stretch before? I want that middle part of my back. Good work, Margaret, to stretch as well. Good dinner. Keep going. I really want to switch on at my tranters. Breathe out. Come up. Push your palms heavy into the floor. When we come back down into that cow, belly down, chin up, tailbone up. Really just let that belly hang and let that tailbone go up. Chin up. And then roll through. Good, Joe. Let's do one more. Breathe out. Shoulders back and down. Chin up. Tailbone up. And again. Push it up. Come back to neutral. Oh. Tuck your toes underneath you. Push yourself up. Hang down. Can you believe it? We've done 45 minutes of stretching. Oh. Hang down. Now I really want my head to go nice and heavy. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice and heavy. And then I'm going to breathe out and roll up one vertebra at a time. Squeeze your butt. Come all the way up. Shoulders back and down. <gasps> big breath in. And then sigh out. <sighs> Give yourself a big clap. Yay! You did a fantastic job. Good work. So remember, you can wake up and do just a few of those exercises in the morning or you can do the whole thing all over again. Morning or night, it doesn't matter. It'll help you feel, stretch, lengthen and sort out any of those muscle imbalances. What else can I say? Thanks for joining me. Love you always. Miss you always. We'll see you tomorrow for bar. So we'll need a disc and a band if you have one. If you haven't, doesn't matter. Just join us anyway. Do something nice for yourself today and something nice for somebody else. Bye.